Hey guys, happy new years. I am back with a kind of a jewelry tutorial. It's using beads. Um, I have like just recently fallen in love with these, let's see right here, these bead, um, beaded, they hold, they stay onto your phone case. I can't even think of the word now. Good gracious. So anyways, I purchased this one right here from like Marshall's. It was like four bucks, right? And these are not, these are all glass beads. These were not um, plastic or acrylic type beads. So um, I wanted to give it, I bought it because I wanted to see how they made it so I can figure out how to make one for myself. Now, um, so this one I keep on my phone. It broke literally yesterday and I fixed it. So I'm going to show you, I watched some videos, okay, on how to make these and everybody did it differently. So I'm going to show you how I decided to do it. A lot of the girls will start the loop up here and then tie the knot down here and then they will shove it in the bead. Well, and a lot of them are using plastic and acrylic beads, which I'm not using any of those. Every All the beads I'm using are um, uh, either like this right here is a natural stone. So it's got some weight to it and those are Swarovski crystals and then metal um, bead spacers. So all it's got some substance to it because I wanted it to be you know, heavy and not, you know, cause the other ones are very more for a younger audience in my eyes. I mean, I wouldn't wear some of those pony beads and stuff like that. Um, so I wanted them to be just a little fancier. So I had figured out how to do it my way because when using these type of beads, they are, sometimes they're small to where you have just enough space to get your cording through. So if you tie a knot, even if it's just one knot and you put some adhesive on it, sometimes it won't fit through the bead because the hole is just barely big enough for the one. So I don't want to see the knot coming out of here. So I did it differently and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So that one is the natural one I did. I did this one right here. Okay, and this right here is just mixed beads that I had in my stash. All of the beads that I'm gonna show you with making one with you guys is from Hobby Lobby, okay? So this is how it goes on a cell phone case, okay? So you see that it tie, I tie it right around here. In the big part, I have a 13 Pro Max um, iPhone. So, and then this is, you know, I love it. It's so, so pretty. Okay, so those are the ones that I already made. I have one laid out showing you right here, okay? But we're gonna string one together. I just wanted to lay this out so I have a kind of a general idea of maybe how I wanna go about it. But I'm gonna show you this up close. And this is all in pinks and look at that beautiful glass stone. It's like a lamp work bead. It's insane gorgeous. But every bead you see on here was purchased from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you. This is the string that I got from Hobby Lobby, okay? It comes in these four colors. And there's another one with a darker four colors if you wanted to get those. I just wanted the pretty colors. So I grabbed these and those will probably last you forever and it was only $4.99. Okay, so you want to get this one. It's the only option the, of the cording. Now this cording, when you use that, what I love about it is that you can easily string the beads on the top and it doesn't get all unraveled. Okay, so let me just go ahead and show you. You need 24 inches, okay? So it's 24 inches. I'm using the light pink. And um. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Make sure you have some good scissors and we'll finish this off together. But I, and if you don't wanna watch me bead, then you guys can just go ahead and fast forward the video. That's all good. And, um, but some people like to watch the process and, and I'm one of those people too. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna, I wanna start with the really beautiful bead at the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna use it, and these were not purchased from Hobby Lobby. These were purchased from downtown LA years and years ago. I'm just barely using them now. 
okay so again it's 24 inches now I keep both of these up so that I can put equal pattern on both sides I prefer to have a pattern so for me I'm gonna go ahead and start with these cute little bead caps okay just to put on the ends of um, this pretty stone glass bead okay and then I wanted to start with some cute little tiny, these look like little um, maybe three millimeter glass beads that are in a really pretty light pink. So we're gonna start with the, oh good gracious. Now I can't see anything. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Let's pick a different stone because apparently either it's me, it's probably most likely me, there we go. Okay, and I like to do things when I do it, like, because I know some girls, when I do my jewelry videos, they struggle with pattern, like how to do the pattern. And for me, it's all about, you know, what what I do doesn't float everybody's boat. So you got to do what really is beautiful in your eye and what you think works for you. I'm just going to show you the way. And if you like this way that I do it, then absolutely go for it. So now I'm going to take these right here, our um, six millimeter um, bicone AB Swarovski crystals. So I'm going to put one on each side. So whatever I do on one side, I'm going to do it on the other. And I just look, I put out all my beads here so that I can see where I want to pull from and what I want to do. I don't have a pattern in my mind. So um, I'm just kind of like rolling with it. So these right here, these little tiny, pretty um, pearlescent type of uh, glass beads, they come in a, a four pack. I think it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's like four strands, I mean, of beads that you can get. I'd love to get those from Hobby Lobby because I always feel like it's such a bang for your buck when you get multiple strands instead of just one. Okay, so then we're gonna go up. I'm gonna do this one differently. I'm not gonna copy the first one I did. I'm just looking down and I'm thinking, okay, this is what I'm gonna use. I also have some metal findings. I like to mix metal, you know, even in my jewelry, I like to have metal mixed in. It's not necessary, but it's just something that works for me. Okay, I'm using some more of these glass beads, super light pink glass bead. Okay, and then now I'm going to look around. I'm like, you know what, let me grab some of these hearts. These are the ones from Hobby Lobby that comes just in one strand. So I'm going to put these on because they're gorgeous. And I love it because you can use um, a bead threader if that's what works for you. You know, if that's what works better, I have this one right here. You see this? Okay, you see how long that is? That's, these ones are, good gracious, these are a long one. These are five inches long. And you can get these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And this I would use for like, when I did these right here, I use these. I'm not trying to string, cause I'm using stretchy string on these. So trying to do that was not gonna work. So for something like this, I would use on these, but if this what's what works better for you, where you can just grab a bunch and maybe, you know, you're unable to, you know, for whatever your reasons are, you, can totally use this to string on here but just be mindful though this string does not have give so stretchy when you stretch it and you pull it through it's you know it kind of gets skinnier as you put it through the bead but this right here is actual cording so you got to be careful if you try to get too small like these little tiny like three millimeter two millimeter beads they're not going to fit and um with the using this, or sorry, using this and then stringing this through and then trying to shove it through, it probably won't work. So I'm just saying, you just gotta be mindful of the beads and the size hole that you have, okay? So let's see, where are we at, where are we at, where are we at? All right, let's go ahead and go back to these tiny little ones and then start a different pattern. Now, you're probably thinking, how many beads do you know to add? You need 12 inches, okay? So you have a 24 inch cording, but you're only gonna put enough beads for um, 12 inches, okay? So let's go ahead and put this here. 
and then it's really easy guys it's just really beating it and this and I hope this way works you know for you there are other ways I just didn't when I watched I think I watched three videos and they were you know um, very young kids that were doing it so the way they did it was something that I didn't want to do I wanted to do something you know just differently for me and um and this is you know what I liked best there's probably other ways this is not my idea this has been around for forever and um and it's pretty easy like if you were to buy stuff like this you would pretty much get the idea of how to put this together okay so hopefully this works for you guys and that you have some pretty um beaded what do you call i forgot what they called it good gracious <laughs> it's not a lanyard they called it something else but um and i love it because i change out my cases oops i change out my cases all the time did i just put this in i think i did but oh well and um i change out my airpod cases all the time um, I'm just that girl. I'm mean, going to change out my purses. I change out my wallets. I like to do stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It makes it feel like, you know, you got something new all the time <laughs> when all you're doing is moving your stuff around. So, all right. So let me go ahead and check to see where we're at on the ruler. Okay. You can't see right now because it's off. So I'm about 10 inches. So I still need two more inches of beads so let's go ahead and add two more hearts and um this is very therapeutic i love it and i have um, a lot of gifting to do to some of my friends i didn't get to do for christmas my crafty buddies so um i will be making these as gifts that i'm excited um, because this will go for any phone as long as you have a case on it um, which I would hope you guys all have cases on it. And, um, and it's just cute for gifts, for yourself, for gifts, whatever works. And you can add charms on here, which we're going to do because I already took them out. And, um, and see how it goes from there. All right, so let's see where we at. Let's go ahead and add two more Swarovskis. Oopsie. Okay, and this, oh, I'm not going to say it now. I'll show you when I do it. All right, and we are, all right, just need a couple more beads. And, oops, we should be good. Let's go ahead and do a couple more of these metal ones. I like winging it and really not knowing the design and just having stuff in front of me and just picking it as I go. It does take a little more time when you do that. Um, but it's all good. Now, if I was making, I needed to make a bunch of the same pattern, that would be a whole different process. But, um, we are all good. Oh, good gracious. All right. So, and good gracious. It's like every time I look, two more beads, two more beads, because I keep grabbing small beads. And let's grab two more Swarovskis. This will be enough. And then we can close it off. Remember, 12 inches of beads, 24 inches of cording. All right, so now this is where we're at. Okay, how gorgeous is that? Oops. So pretty, right? I love it. All right, so now what we're going to do, let's move this aside. And move this aside. Now I'm going to use my handy dandy pokey tool. This helps with the knots. All right, so we're going to grab the two together, make a knot. And I want this knot to be very close to the beads. Okay, so I get this pokey tool. I stick it inside where the knot is and I pull it as close as I can to the beads and that's what this little needle helps to do as you're pulling it it is actually pulling it towards your beads so when you let go and you pull this out that knot will be very close to the beads so that there's not a lot of give and that's what I want okay 
and that's what I do. Then I'm gonna pick a bead that I can put on top of that, okay? So for this one right here, I could pick this. That's something that's big enough to fit both cords through, okay? So I just picked the larger one. These ones right here, they come in like multiple strands as well. So then you're gonna tie another knot. All right. And then we're gonna use our pokey tool again. And we're gonna stick it inside the knot. Okay, so how you see that? And we're gonna stick it to where it's closest to the bead. So you see, it's close to the bead and it's still there. You can get your thumb and then you can kind of like push it through. And then when you pull this out, you just pull the knot closer, okay? So it keeps it inside. And Because if you try to do it on your own, sometimes the knot will end up way over here and you don't want that. All right, now we're gonna take out the ruler and we're gonna go two inches, okay? So from where this knot is, we're gonna make another knot in two inches, okay? So I'm just gonna loosely put it on here. Okay, I'm not gonna make it too tight yet. And I'm gonna lay it right next to the ruler. And I'm gonna pull the knot two inches out, okay? And this is the part that's gonna loop through your phone, okay? Make sure it's super tight, okay? So you need that hole in between this knot and then this knot. And then we're gonna cut this off. Now, I don't cut it right to the butt. I cut it out just a little bit, okay? And then, if you are under 18, this is not okay for you to do without an adult, okay? So you either have a lighter or I always have this, okay? And then you wanna light the ends, okay? You wanna burn them, I should say. And then these melt together. <sighs> and the cool thing about it is that it melts them together and it makes it super hard. So, and that right there is what's sealing that knot so that when you wrap it around, that when this is heavy and your phone is heavy hanging on it, this knot won't come undone. And that's what I like about it, okay? So I'm gonna cut off some of this because I touched it and it got flattened, okay? So now, let's take this one off. And then I will show you how to put this on. All right, so you just stick it through your phone we're gonna open up this part right here, and then we're gonna take the end and we're just gonna slide it through. Okay. And then you just push it down. Okay, and that's it. And now you have this really super beautiful beaded case holder phone thingy. <laughs> but we didn't put the charms on yet. So let's go ahead and do the charms, okay? All right, so I just grabbed some random charms and we're just gonna open these up and I'll show you where you can hang it. Okay, I have a really beautiful dove. Dove has a very big sentimental value to me meaning I should say it's a sign of a new beginning and um, so I wanted to put this on there and then we are gonna put this charm on okay and then we're just gonna this is where I do it this is completely up to you is I would just hang it you can hang it anywhere, honestly, but you don't wanna hang it anywhere up here because this is where you're gonna be tying it around the phone. This will just get in the way. So you wanna hang it below. So I just hang it right there, okay? And then let's just close this off. I didn't use my other pliers. I just have my round ones with me, okay? And then you have, you know, whoops, some dangles. So this one here says hope, and then it has a dove, and then a little heart, 
You can make your own dangles, but how pretty will that be to hang off of that? You can hang them anywhere in the middle, however you want. But is that not gorgeous, guys? Yes, I love it so much. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this bad boy off since it's right here and it's already done and strung. So you can watch me do the process one more time. So we're gonna grab these two, make sure the beads are even. We're gonna tie a knot, okay? We're gonna grab our, oops, our pokey tool. We're gonna stick it in the knot, okay? So I'll probably put it down so you're like that. And then you're gonna pull the string and you're gonna have this closest to the beads. And then when you take this out, just get your thumb and then pull it close. Okay, so it looks like that. All right, now we're gonna get one of these bigger beads. Make sure it's enough where the hole can fit two strings through. And then we're gonna tie another knot. Okay. And then we're gonna use the pokey tool again inside the knot and hold it closest to the bead. So it's like that and then pull it out and then just have your thumb push the knot so that it's close and snug to the bead. Now we're gonna go ahead and from the knot to two inches, okay? So loosely, just right now it doesn't matter, just do your knot loosely and then we'll measure it, okay? So we're gonna slowly pull the knot down to where it's at the two inch mark Okay, perfect. All right, then we are going to cut it. Not super close, just enough so that it has room to melt together when you burn the ends. Okay, again, adults only. Anybody under 18, you need a parent for this process, even though you shouldn't be watching my video because I have it marked that way. But anyways, you never know. So we're gonna light it and then burn it. Okay, so that it gets pretty close to the um, to the knot, okay? And it pretty burns pretty well. And that's what I like about this cording is it allows it to melt and it turns into like a plastic so that this knot's going nowhere, okay? So, and that's that. And then we have this opening right here where you can just wrap it around your phone and I did not bring out charms for this one yet, but um, I may or may not add a charm. But see how gorgeous that is? How fun is that? So if you guys make any, make sure you show me and I want to see what you guys make. So, I mean, I want to, I have my letter beads, so I definitely want to put some with words on it. But yeah, again, fun, simple, and super fast. So... Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys totally enjoyed this video because I absolutely had a blast making these. These are so, I'm like, I want to make a bunch and I'm gifting everybody one. <laughs> so that is it. If you have any questions, please put it down below. Again, all my beads are from Hobby Lobby and this cording is from Hobby Lobby. Again, they come in two sets of colors. I grabbed the lighter colors and this will last you a lifetime. And then just grab all your beads, okay? So that's it. Have an amazing and super blessed day, guys. And I will see you later. Bye.